Hey everyone, it's John here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fill down data in Excel. So if you have blank cells and you need to fill those in with data from above, then I'm gonna show you three ways that you can do that. Let's take a look. The first method we're gonna take a look at for filling down values is using Control Enter. So here we've got a list of departments, job titles, and salaries. And you can see that the department field has the first value filled in, but then we've got some blanks underneath each of the departments. And so these need to be filled in with the value above. So how we're gonna do that is by selecting all of the values, including the blank cells, and if we go up to the Home tab, we can go to the Find and Select option and open our Go To Special menu. And this is going to allow us to select different types of cells. Here we've got the option to select blank cells. We can press OK. And now only the blank cells are selected. Now without touching anything else, we're gonna hit Equals on our keyboard to create a formula. And our formula is just going to reference the cell above. Now, if we just press enter, then that's only going to enter that formula in cell B5 right now. So instead, what we're gonna do is hold the control key and press enter. And then that's going to enter the formula in all of the selected cells. And so now we've got a formula that just references the cell above for all of our cells here. And because some of these cells are filled in already, then that formula is going to fill the rest of the cells for us. Now, some of these cells have formulas and some are hard-coded, so we might want to just get these all as values. So again, we're gonna select everything, press Control-C to copy, and then Control-Shift-V to paste them as values. You can also right-click and paste as values from the menu here. And either way now, we've just got hard-coded values instead of formulas. The next method we're gonna take a look at for filling down values is with the scan function. So the scan function is going to allow us to loop through an array of values and perform a calculation for each value in the array. So the array we're gonna loop through is our list of departments, including the blank cells. And if the value is filled in, we're gonna go with that value. And if we've got a blank cell, we're gonna use the previous value. So the scan function takes an initial value. Here, we're just gonna use an empty string. The array we wanna loop through is our list of departments, including blank cells. And the calculation we're gonna perform is with a lambda function. And our lambda function requires an accumulator value and a current value. And the calculation our lambda is gonna perform is we're gonna check and see if the current value is blank. If it is, we're gonna use our previous value our accumulator value. Otherwise, we're gonna go with our current value. And that's the end of our lambda and scan function. And when we press enter, you can see that we've got a filled in array of our department values. And now if we want, we can copy and paste this as values into our original department column here. So we can do control C and then control shift V to paste those as values. And now we've got a filled in column. Lastly, we're gonna take a look at filling values with Power Query. So first up, we're gonna to need to put our data inside a, a table so that Power Query can use that table. So we're gonna select our data set here and go up to the insert tab and click on the table command and we can press OK. And now we've got our data set inside of a table. 
We're also just going to go up to the table design tab and rename our table here. And press enter. And now we've got an employees table. And with this table, we're going to go up to the data tab. And now we can import this into Power Query. Let's click on from table range. And that's going to open up the Power Query editor with our data set here in the preview window. And so here you can see that we've got our department column and we've got some of them filled in and then the ones below are null. So those are the empty cells in Excel. And in Power Query, we've got a really easy command to fill down values. We can right click on the column and we've got an option here, fill, and we're gonna choose fill down. And just like that, it fills down the values for us. Now that we've got that done, we can go up to the Home tab and we can load this query back into Excel. So I'm gonna click on Close and Load, Close and Load 2. And here we're gonna make sure we have Table selected. And I'm gonna put it in this existing worksheet right here and press OK. And it's going to load a new table with our department column filled down. So there you have it. There's three easy ways to fill down data in Excel. We can use control enter with the go to special menu. We can use the scan function or we can use power query. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.